day when you walk into that arena, there is no holding back. There is 110% effort. There is maximum commitment. There is no holding back. Do you hear me? You don't get anywhere holding back. Champions don't hold back. Beasts don't hold back. The greats never hold back. You are strong, focused, always ready. You are calm, prepared, hands steady. You are a beast, a champion, ready for fame. You are a beast, a lion, no one will tame. Go all out. Give 110. You have more heart than 10,000 men. Are you focused? I am focused. I am focused. I am focused. I am machine. I am beast. I see challenge. I feast. Let's go. Let's go. You are unstoppable. No one has the power to stop you. No one has the strength to hold you. Your desire and heart will destroy anyone that gets in your way. Get the job done. Don't look around to see if others are watching. Don't seek recognition. Don't seek approval. You don't need it. You will be better without it. You don't listen to haters. They hate because they are small. You are far from small. You are large and in charge. Large in charge. No matter how many disappointments along the way, my mind remains stronger than ever. Every minute, every hour, every day, focused to the finish. Your love is the work, the pride, the pride in the work, the toughest of work. The enormous satisfaction you get when you look at yourself in the mirror and you know, you know, without a doubt, you are self-made. Your place has been earned. Your place is deserved. There's no better feeling. Self-made, strong, powerful, prepared, focused, hungry for more. Repeat after me. This is my time. I have a vision and no one will get in my way. No one will alter my beliefs. No one will roadblock my goals. I will move aside all barriers to my dreams. I will rip them to shreds and leave them scattered on the ground. That's how bad I want this. I want it more than anything or anyone. There is no plan B. There is no falling back. There is only one option. Succeed at all costs. Reach the top. Reach the goal. You are focused. Your eyes are on the prize. Your eyes are on the prize. Pain is temporary. Greatness is forever. Are you going to live this day as if it is your last, your last shot to make something of yourself? Give your all. Show your heart. Show your drive. Push yourself to the absolute limit. You will succeed. You will succeed. You will succeed. You don't burn out mentally because you always burn out physically. Differential of somebody winning and losing has nothing to do with their genetics, has nothing to do with their potential. You're gonna feel this soreness you've never felt before. It's supposed to be that way. It means you're using muscles you haven't used before your body's waking up. Sharpening your arsenal for perfection of what you can be. But if you didn't know that, mentally, you didn't prepare for that. You think something's wrong, maybe it's time to stop. No, it's time to move for you further. And even though you go to the gym, you put your time in there, you check the box, yeah, I went to the gym, man, all good. You come back around, you look in the mirror, man, I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing anything, I'm not seeing any change yet, no. Well, because you haven't pushed yourself for your body to have a reason to change. If I gave a valid effort to something, day in, day out, I saw no change, I'd probably quit too. When you embark this journey, you must know that it's going to go down before it comes up. And when it comes up, it's going to go so much higher than you've ever been. Sacrificing today for tomorrow. I couldn't hold myself up, hit the, hit the pavement. I'm okay with that, because tomorrow I'll get back up and do it again. And I'm going to try to beat my last performance in life. It's not the genetic guy who wins, but the guy with the most potential that wins. It's the person with the greatest perseverance that wins. Always willing to get up and go at it again and go at it again. That's the guy who has his hand raised later in life, guys. That's the guy you guys need to be. 
record everything, what you eat, your training habits, how you feel. You take a picture of yourself on day one, you put it on the mirror. That's who I'll never be again, that's day one, say goodbye to him. Behind that picture, you write down your weight, your height, all your information, your body fat. Take, take measures around your arms, your waist, your thigh. Record where you've been. And when the struggle gets hard, and you feel like you're not going anywhere, you go back to that day one, re measure it. It's not an easy path. Ninety days out, man, I'm gonna run a marathon. Ninety days out, I'm gonna enter a bodybuilding contest. Ninety days out, the family reunion, high school reunion, I'm gonna look my best. Ninety days to become that person I wanna be. To turn that dream into a reality, I got 90 days. Today is 190th of that opportunity. When you guys find a fear, that fear will either create you or destroy you. I love fear. The reason why? Behind every fear is a person you want to be. Fear is self-imposed, meaning it doesn't exist. You create it, you can destroy it too. It's an intangible. If you face your fears, guys, you will realize it's not that big. And once you face it, you go, oh my God, man, I spent all this time running from it. It was so small. If I just faced it, my God, not only did I face it, I beat it back. Energy's never lost, transferred. That negative energy, that fear, is destroyed. It comes back and it's confidence. Like, what else am I, what else am I capable of? Where else am I holding my back from that I'm capable of more? What am I running from I don't need to? What else can I overcome? Go after it. You give it all you have. If you lose, at least you try, man. I failed. It's ten times more of a man than someone said, what if? Because what if never went to the arena?